Whenever you search on the internet for what the shortest Merseyrail journey is, typically you get one of two responses, either Wallasey Village to Wallasey Grove Road or James Street to Moorfields. But to my knowledge, I don't think anyone's actually done a proper test to see which is the actual shortest one. So I'm going to do that myself. We're going to see what the true shortest Merseyrail journey is. Let's go. To do this, I'm going to be timing each journey three times, from the moment the train begins moving to the moment the train stops moving. The journeys in question being Wallasey Village to Wallasey Grove Road, and vice versa, and James Street to Moorfields. At the end of the video, I'll be finding the average journey times for each to hopefully find the true shortest Mersey Rail journey. So without further ado, let's make a start. So with the train moving and the timer started, it's off to Wallasey Grove Road. Our first run. One minute thirteen. And rather conveniently, the train back showed up almost immediately. So back to Wallasey Village. So as you saw, that was about one minute nine and a half. I stopped the timer a bit late, so it said one minute ten, but I'll say one minute nine and a half for that. So four seconds slower to go the other way. Interesting, I wonder if that'll continue. Okay, so back at the northbound platform, and now we wait and do this two more times. <laughs> Hurrah! Unfortunately, though, there was a slight hiccup. All right, slightly annoyingly, I'm at Wallasey Grove Road already, and I wasn't able to start the timer because the ticket inspector um, meant I had to show my ticket. <laughs> so I wasn't able to get my watch to start the timer, so uh, we're doing Wallasey Grove Road to Wallasey Village again. So it would seem there is a bit of variation between length of time to get between stations because there's been a three second difference between getting from Wallasey Grove Road to Wallasey Village. So, yeah. Okay, time for attempt two of getting a second journey from Wallasey Village to Wallasey Grove Road. So, one minute four that time. Interesting, there really is quite a difference. So, 107 for that one. So time for the final one now between Wallasey Village and Wallasey Grove Road. And then we can go off to James Street and do James Street to Moorfields. So that was 1 minute 6. Cool. So we have all the times now for both the Wallaseys. So yeah, let's do James Street to Moorfields. So while we head to James Street, here is a list of the current times. Now we're at James Street, let's do the first timing. <laughs> Okay, that's already one James Street to Moorfields journey done, so uh, now we will go back and we'll do it two more times. was one minute one. Yeah, so like Wallasey Village and Wallasey Grove Road, they've got quite a discrepancy in the number of seconds it takes. Right, I'm back at James Street again. So, time to do this one last time. We'll go to the other platform, go to more fields, time it, and then, yeah, we can compile the data.
So with that, here are the timings for James Street to Moorfields. And if we compare the average times, we can conclude that James Street to Moorfields takes the crown as the shortest Mersey Rail journey. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And yeah, hope you found it informative or enjoyed it. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.